Okay, now let us learn about electric current and direct current circuits. Direct current circuits is also known as DC circuits. Okay, so first of all, we will learn uh, about electrical conduction. Uh, what, what is conducted in the circuits? Uh, it is, of course, the current. So first of all, we will learn about electric current. Uh, what is actually a current? Uh, how do current flows? Okay. But before we go to the microscopic model of current, uh, we must first of all uh, understand the function of a battery. Uh, is it the battery provide the current? Yeah, is it battery provide the current to flow in the circuit? Uh, this is wrong. This is a wrong concept. Battery is not a current source. It's not the current source. The current does not come from battery. Uh, in short, current actually is the free electrons. It's a free electrons. And these free electrons already exist in the wire. The wire itself is a conductor which has many, many free electrons. The battery is just there to move the electron, uh, make the electron move in the wire. Okay? So battery, uh, battery is actually an EMF source or voltage source. Battery provides voltage for the circuit it does not provide current for the circuits yeah uh, if you say that a uh, battery provides a current to the circuits then if you use a non-conductor a non-conductor then there should be current because there's battery uh, which is wrong uh, if a non-conductor it the wire does not have free electron does not have free electron so for non-conductor uh, there's no current you see although there's battery all right so battery provide emf Battery does not provide current. Yeah? Uh, so what is actually EMF? EMF is actually a voltage. And what is voltage? Voltage is about potential difference, isn't it? Uh, still remember what you learned in uh, the first chapter? You learned about um, this voltage. Uh, voltage is actually potential difference, delta V. Let me change the thickness. Okay. Now, uh, voltage is actually, is actually delta V. And delta V... We can relate to the work done, isn't it? Uh, Q delta multiply Q delta V. Uh, so for voltage, voltage is actually delta V. So delta V is actually related to work done. Uh, so battery provides uh, voltage to the circuit. In other words, it provides the energy work done to the circuits. Uh, work done is about energy. What kind of energy? Uh, electric potential energy so because um, we did learn that uh, work done is also uh, the change of electric potential energy uh, so voltage is about potential energy the battery provides potential energy uh, for the electrons in the circuit okay so battery does not provide the current to the circuit but it provides energy for the electron to move in the circuits. The free electrons already exist in the wire because the wire itself is a conductor. It has many, many free electrons. It's just like uh, we can make an analogy. Battery is just like the water pump, you know, water pump. And the current, the current or the free electrons is like the water. It's like the water. Uh, in the pipe itself already have water. Just like in the wire, already have the free electrons okay uh, but initially when there is no battery when there is no battery the free electrons in the wire does not move just like the water in the pipe does not move okay but when you put in the battery it's like you put in a water pump yeah the battery is like water pump the water pump drive uh, or make the water move in the pipe uh, yeah let's say this uh, water pump rotate uh, clockwise and uh, then this water will flow will flow to the right uh, in the pipe uh, okay uh, so it's just like uh, in the wire itself already have many many free electrons but not moving and uh, maybe they move in random direction but when you put in the battery uh, then the free electrons in the wire will start to move in the direction uh, and that produces current okay uh, so we can say that uh, battery provide energy uh, or provide voltage for the electrons 
to move in the circuits. Yeah, it does not provide the electron, but it provides energy for the electrons to move in the circuits. Just like the water pump uh, rotate to move the water in the pipe. Okay? Uh, so now, um, let us learn about this uh, current flow. Uh, what is actually current? Uh, if we look uh, microscopically, yeah, that's why we need to know about microscopic model of current. What is actually current? What is actually current? Uh, current actually uh, is uh, the flow of electrons. Yeah, it's actually the flow of electrons. Uh, we know that uh, what what charge yeah, of current is actually the flow of charge. Yeah, uh, in later part I will uh, discuss what is actually current. Is actually the rate of flow of charge, and we know that the the charge that moving in the wire is the electron. Yeah, only the electrons. Okay, and um, go back to our first chapter. Why when we put a e uh, battery, the electron will start to flow in the circuits. Ah, uh, so I will um, let us uh, let us look at carefully about this. Uh, we did learn about a uh, parallel plate, isn't it? Uh, we learned about parallel plate. Let me change the phone also. Uh, we learned about parallel plate, uh, positive and negative plate, isn't it? Uh, we learned that we have a positive plate and negative plate. Uh, so, when you have one electron in the middle, when you have one electron in the middle, uh, this electron will move to positive plate. Uh, why it move to positive plate? Because it is it experience uh, electrostatic force being attracted to the positive plate. Uh, the plate just uh, give out the electric field uh, from uh, positive to negative, isn't it? Ah, okay. So, and for for this electron, a negative charge. The force and electric field is opposite direction. Uh -huh. So the same thing as uh, this conductor. Conductor itself already has many many free electrons. Uh? Already has many many free electrons because it is a conductor. It is a metal. Yeah. Uh, but when you put a battery, it's like you put a positive plate and negative plate uh, in between the conductor. Uh, just like you see, uh, this conductor, this end is connected to the positive end positive terminal and the negative uh, end here uh, connected to the negative terminal so it's like um, there is a uh, here there is a positive positive uh, plate and here there is a negative plate uh, in between the conductor so uh, this one this uh, end which is connected to the positive terminal uh, this one become the positive plate uh, this one become the positive plate here becomes the negative plate uh, and this conductor, this, this conductor is a wire, you know, the wire. Uh, the wire itself already already have many, many, already have many, many free, ele free electrons, which is the negative charge. Uh, already have many, many electrons. So I just take one electron for example. Okay. Uh, when these uh, electrons, uh, when there is no battery, yeah, when there is no battery, this electron will move in random direction. Yeah, when there is no uh, positive or negative plate, this electron will just move in random direction. But when you put in the battery, it's like you put in a positive plate and negative plate. And when you have this plate, a uh, positive and negative plate, uh, you you uh, exert a electric field, uh, electric field inside the conductor, which is from positive plate to the negative plate. Uh, you exert an electric field inside the conductor. Yeah. And for this example, this electric field is to the right. Okay? Uh, but we know that the electrons will be attracted to the positive plate or positive terminal. Uh, so the force, electrostatic force, will be opposite direction to the field. Yeah? Or we can say this force is towards the positive plate because we know that electrons are attracted to positive plate. Uh, so uh, in the end, what happened? When it is attracted to positive plate, it will move to the positive plate. Uh, that's why electron will move to the positive terminal. Okay? Uh, it has the electrostatic force uh, towards the positive plate. Uh, and then it will move towards the positive plate, but uh, in the form of zigzag. 
movement, uh, zigzag movement because you know this electron does not move smoothly. It will collide with the atoms, atoms of the uh, metal, uh, metal of the uh, wire itself. Uh, this electron it collide with many many atoms of the metal. Uh, that's why it moves in zigzag. Yeah, it moves in zigzag because of collision. But we know that uh, uh, this electron will will have a ve velocity towards the positive plates. Uh, that's what we call drift velocity. Uh, drift velocity is uh, we know that there is many many electrons. There's not just one electron. There's many electrons. We can say. Uh, maybe here got another electron uh, here also got another electron all of them will move zigzag uh, but all, all towards one direction which is towards the positive plate yeah uh, all these three electrons they all have one uh, one destination which is towards the positive terminal uh, so we can say all electron drive towards drive towards the positive plate although all of them, uh, they move in zigzag direction, yeah, because of collision. Uh, but all of them have one, one same destination, which is the positive terminal. Uh, so all of them will drive towards the positive plate, yeah, or positive terminal. That's what we call drift velocity. Uh, and then for current, uh, current is uh, we can say it is opposite direction to the electron. Ah, this uh, why current is opposite direction to electron flow. Uh, we know that um, uh, the e the current actually is because of the flow of electrons, isn't it? Uh, but why the the electron uh, move to the left, but current move to the right? Why they are move in opposite direction? Isn't that current is the electron itself? Uh, yes, current actually is the electron itself, but current is in terms of positive charge uh, current is actually positive charge but um but yeah positive charge yeah? this is the positive charge uh, so but uh we know that proton doesn't move proton is a positive charge proton doesn't move the 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 only thing move in the wire is the electron uh, but now why we suddenly talk about uh, negative charge and then we suddenly we talk about positive charge Okay, these questions, uh, elect the, the current Y opposite to the electron, I will cover in the next videos. Uh, but now we just focus on uh, the direction. Yeah, the direction. Okay, now you see, this electron is to the left, the drift velocity to the left. Uh, the current must be in opposite direction to the electron. Okay, and then for the electron, uh, the, if the positive terminal is at the left-hand side, uh, we can say the force also to the left. Uh, the force and the drift velocity must be in the same direction because this electron is attracted uh, to the left. That's why the drift velocity also to the left. Okay? And then the electric field must be from positive plate to the negative plate. Uh, positive plate to the negative plate. Uh, this electric field must opposite direction to the force. Okay? Uh, that's it. Uh, this uh, four direction is very important. Okay, you must uh, re uh, remember uh, the force and electric field in opposite direction, uh, but the velocity and the force must be in same direction, and then the current must be opposite direction to the electron velocity. Uh, must be opposite direction. Uh? The current and electron, current electron must be in opposite direction. Uh, why current and electron in opposite direction? I will talk about this later. Now, uh, we have a way to calculate the current uh, in this circuit by looking microscopic model which is this formula yeah uh, which is this formula current equal to n a v e or na v yeah na v uh, very simple huh? we can use uh, the n is the number of charge per unit volume yeah number of charge uh, per unit volume and then a is the cross sectional area yeah the cross sectional area or the cross section of the wire yeah, the the round yeah the round shape cross section wire cross section area and v, vd is the drift velocity drift velocity of the electrons uh, as, as just now you learn there are many many electrons all of them are drifting towards the positive terminal okay that's the drift velocity although they move in zigzag direction but they have one common destination which is the positive terminal 
so they all drift towards one direction, which is the positive terminal. That's drift velocity. And E is the electron charge, charge of one electron. And if you uh, use these uh, uh, four values, multiply, you will get the current, current that flows in the circuits. Okay, uh, so there's one way to calculate current micros, uh, using the microscopic model. And there's another way to calculate the current using the flow of charge per unit time. Okay, okay so uh, that's all for this videos. Okay, uh, let's look at the second one. Thank you.